It's time for some newness. Is that even a word? Newness? Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. That's right, people. The long-awaited release of Pinnacle Studio 20 is finally upon us. And guess what? I'm about to break down all of the new features in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. All right? So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in the newness that is Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. If you end up liking all the features and you think that it's worth your while to pick up Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate, go ahead and click on the link in the description. Now, full disclosure, that is an affiliate link, so if you end up using that link to buy, it helps me out, gives your boy a little kickback, but it's the same price as if you went to the website yourself and bought it that way. So full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, and it helps me to keep creating videos like this for you guys. Let's talk about the newness. I'm just sticking to the newness, that's it, all right? You're only getting newness today. First thing that's new, 360 degree video, all right? So if you have a device that records or captures 360 degree video, you'll be able to edit that in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. Now, for those of you who don't know, 360 video, it just gives you that immersive look like you're turning and you can turn the video and see around in different areas and all of that loveliness, okay? So I don't have a 360 video device, but if you right click on any one of these clips, you will see that there is an option here for 360 video. Now, you can insert it into your movie as a 360 video, or if you have a 360 video and you want to convert it to standard video, you can do that as well and select which part of the 360 video you want to be viewed in your movie. So that's really, really, really cool. The next new feature that we got on deck is motion tracking. All right, so motion tracking allows you to uh, track uh, moving objects on the screen and uh, use things to like obscure a face, a license plate, a logo, or you can just let text or graphics follow something across the screen. It's a really cool feature that allows you to add more professionalism to your videos. So once again, if you right click on a clip, you have track motion and you can mask an object or you can follow an object. So I'm not gonna show you all of these things right now because I'm gonna be making full tutorials on all of these features, one for each video. So it doesn't make sense to do all of that here today. I'm just telling you about the newness, that's it. The next feature is easy track transparency. So this allows you to adjust the opacity of a track or a clip so that you can see multiple videos through the timeline as an overlay effect at the same time. So you could always do that by adding fades and things like that, but if you didn't really have the control that you get with the easy track transparency feature. So in order to enable that, you can click on any timeline track or the timeline track that you want to mess with the transparency. And then you click on the little track transparency and keyframe slider. When you click on that, you have the option to either change the opacity of the of everything on that timeline track, or you can click on the keyframe button and go to a specific clip on that track and add nodes for you to change the transparency and make adjustments that way. Pretty freaking cool, right? The next newness that we have is stop motion animation camera support has now been made broader. So like most of the popular Canon and Nikon cameras or Nikon cameras can now be used for stop motion animation. 
So that's really cool. Before you had to use a thing like a uh, a dazzle or whatever to get it to work, but now it's straight um, native out of the Canon and Nikon cameras. They've also added more new blue video essentials. This time we have new blue video essentials three added to the mix. So if I right click on a clip and go to open effects editor. Under the add on section. You will now see new blue video essentials three. So if I click on that. You see all the different effects here, spotlight, split screen, image mapper, uh, edge smoothness, uh, diffusion, all of that loveliness that you get with New Blue Video Essentials 3. Now the next feature that we got on here is picture in picture. Now picture in picture is not new, but the way that it can be adjusted is new because now all you really need to do is click on the clip that you want. Let's say I have two clips in the timeline here and I have this clip on top. So I'm going to click on the clip that's on top. And now I can actually click on the scale mode for PIP and I can grab any node and I can resize it from right here. I don't need to go into the uh, effect editor and all of that stuff to create a uh, picture in picture. I could just drop stuff into the timeline and then scale it from right here in the preview window. That's cool. Now I can also crop from here. So if I click on crop mode, I can just crop directly from right here. No need to go into any cropping or anything like that. I got it all right here at my fingertips. Feel like a boss right now being able to do all this. Feel like a boss. So the last new feature that I'm going to talk about is pan and zoom. So pan and zoom has been, you know, a little finicky with Pinnacle Studio, but now it's been made a lot easier because there are new presets that you can use to set up your pan and zooms. So if you right click on a clip and go to pan and zoom, you're now going to be provided with a bunch of different presets that you can choose to just easily bring your pan and zooms to life without having to do all the work of keyframing and things like that. Uh, you have a big zoom, zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right. Real simple uh, pan and zoom effects that are easy for you to add. And like I said, all of these features that I went over today, I'm going to be doing full tutorials on them. So don't fret, my friends. Just be on the lookout. Make sure that you smash the subscribe button so that you get to see those new tutorials when I upload them to YouTube. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you for watching the video all the way through. It means the world to me. If you like the content that you see in this video, give me a thumbs up real quick. And if you got any questions, uh, tutorial requests, whatever, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget, smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, then you know every time that I upload content to YouTube for you guys to check out and learn more about the software. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.